Hey guys, welcome to PMP Mindset video series by Edu HubSpot. In this video, I'm going to talk about how lessons learned are managed on the predictive side and how lessons learned are managed differently on the agile projects. But before we do that, I want to make sure you have this awesome Edu HubSpot PMP Mindset tool. How to get that? I'm going to explain that to you at the last stage of the video. But before that, I really want you to understand the concept in detail. So let's first talk about the concept. When you are on the home page of the tool, click on lessons learned. When you click on lessons learned, we will see the difference between the traditional and the agile mindset. Let's read that. Lessons learned on the traditional project, they are done throughout the course of the project and update the lessons learned register. Of course, you want to make sure you update the lessons learned register throughout the project. On the agile side, you don't do a lessons learned meeting, you do a retrospective meeting. So perform a retrospective to evaluate the methodological progress that has been made. So it's basically the same thing, but you do it in a much more structured way if you ask me on the agile side and the technical term for that is retrospective. On the traditional side, in this manner, it can be used to the organization future projects. You update your organization process assert, you update the lessons learned register there. Okay. On the agile side, when you have finished the assignment, you use feedback loops and then uh, take what you have learned from it and apply it to your next step. So basically on the agile side, it's a little different. So you take the feedback. What does that mean? Let's say you completed your first sprint. And after the first sprint, you did a retrospective session. You talked about what are the things which went well, what are the things which did not go well. And based on that, you come up with certain points which you need to implement from the next sprint. So on agile side, I would say lessons learned are taken care at a much more serious level in a much more not serious. I would say much more structured level as compared to your traditional predictive side. So let's do one question. You are a newly appointed project manager for a social cause project. Your project charter got approved by the project sponsor. As a project manager, what would be your next step? So your project charter has been approved. A. Plan a detailed requirement session with all these stakeholders. You can do that. I mean, once the project charter is approved, you can start creating the project management plan. Technically, if you uh, complete the project charter, you can actually start creating the project management plan. So I would say out of A and B, B is a better choice than A. So A should be wrong. Let me double click on A and show you that. So it's a wrong choice. So, so far we have B as the best choice. C, identify stakeholders of your uh, project and update the stakeholder register. Yes, I mean, uh, I would say before you create the plan, you will actually identify the stakeholders. So this looks like a better choice than B even. So I will go with C now, but I will double click on B to see whether it's right or wrong. I double click and it shows that B is wrong. So, so far I have C as the best answer. D, review the lessons learned register of the previous projects. Okay, now if you see this project, it says, should I identify the stakeholders or review the lessons learned register? Now, just because I discussed the topic on lessons learned, maximum people will pick the answer as review the lessons learned register for the previous project. But that is incorrect. Where did the question said that you have done a similar project in the past? If it would have written something like that, you would have, of course, gone back to the lessons learned register of the previous project but it's not mentioned. So it's not necessary that you have done a similar project in the past. So as a methodological sense, if your project charter is approved, your next step would be to identify the stakeholders on your project. So your correct answer choice should be C. I double clicked and I got it right. I can click here to see the answer explanation also. Okay. And if you want to see the, if you want to hear the video explanation, you can click on this video to watch the video explanation as well. Okay. There is another question, which I will not do it for you. I want you guys to practice and how you can practice this. First, go to the homepage. How to get this tool for free of cost? 
just go on my website www.eduhubspot.com. When you go on my website, you will see two options over there. Either bottom right hand side, you will see an option of chat, uh, like you know, click on that chat option, talk to one of my team member, or you request a demo, uh, you know, book a demo and uh, you will directly based on the timeline you can connect directly with one of my team member and they are gonna set up a 30 minute zoom call with you. Now what is the purpose of this zoom call? They are gonna explain you how to use this tool, they are gonna understand your background, what you are doing, how you are doing in your studies and they will, they will give you some pointers. After the end of the call, of that zoom call, they are gonna email this mindset tool for you free of cost. If you are my student or if you are not my student, you will, irrespective of that, you will get this tool free of cost. Only thing I ask from you is go on my website and talk to them. Give us those 30 minutes because ultimately I want to make sure that I am impacting your life. Not just by helping you pass the PMP exam but you know touching your hearts. That's, that's my end goal. And please. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, my YouTube channel because I'm going to explain this entire 15 concepts, everything. Like before the real PMP, you have to watch these 15 sections, wear your PMI hat in order to pass this exam successfully. And don't forget to uh, send me an email when you pass this exam because these emails help me a lot, it motivates me a lot to make something as beautiful like something like PMI Mindset Tool, which I did. I hope you guys liked my lessons learned video on the uh, Mindset series. My next video, we would talk about documentation. On the other side, you will see my most favorite video. So don't forget to watch that. I'm coming up with videos almost every week now. So stay tuned. Thank you.